Gentleman from South Carolina is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I'm pleased to yield two minutes to the gentleman from New York, Mr. DeWiener. The gentleman from New York is recognized for two minutes. My, my friends, one of the, I think it was a truly an edifying experience that we had in the opening days of Congress, that we, um, that we read the Constitution. And I think one of us had the great good fortune to read Article 1, Section 7, every bill shall have passed the House of Representatives and the Senate shall, before it became law, be presented to the President of the United States. That's how a bill becomes a law. Now, this is how Eric Cantor on 3-30-2011 said a bill becomes a law. The Senate's gotta, this is just the transcription, I didn't do that, I just assume it's the Southern thing, the Senate's got to act prior to the expiration of the CR. If it does not act, meaning the Senate does not do something, H.R. 1 becomes the law of the land. That's not true. That's not constitutional. That's not fitting of this body. Now, it is, however, consistent with the, how the majority party has been governing around here. They've passed rules that they have ignored. For example, on January 5th, they had members of their caucus take the oath in front of a television set. On February 9th, they failed to provide constitutional authority for a bill despite that it was one of their rules. On March 13th, they failed to get a three-fifths majority for passage of a bill that raised tax rates despite the fact that it was part of the rules. On March 17th, they may failed to make a bill available within 72 hours to fight back that it was part of the rules. And just March 30th, they failed to include an offset for a new government program. The rules are not a big thing for them to follow, because this, this is why it's hard. It's a big book. So I brought you this, House Mouse, Senate Mouse, which is sold in the gift shop to teach children how to understand the Constitution and permit me to read. It's the floor of each chamber, the Senate and House, where each senator and each Congress mouse gets to vote on the bill. And if enough do... If enough do, this president signs it if he likes to. Well, the Senate mouse, mice, the Senate mices haven't passed this yet. Perhaps if this were the rules that the Republicans had to follow, it's a much thinner book and it rhymes, maybe you'd get it right. But this is the not the Constitution. The gentleman's time has expired. The, uh, the gentleman from Georgia. Uh, Madam Speaker, members, I, members in the gallery reminded that they are not to uh, participate. Madam Speaker, uh, I reserve the Georgia. balance. I reserve my time. The gentleman from Georgia reserves. The gentleman from South Carolina. 